What's going on, everybody? 563 Gaming here. My name is Smoke, and today we're playing The Culling. Um, this is basically The Hunger Games put into a video game, and, and it's uh, just as brutal as The Hunger Games would have been had it been an R-rated movie. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. It's arena-style player versus player first person shooter with crafting elements there's a monetary system there's all sorts of different stuff going on in this game it's pretty fun it's still early access so the melee combat's a little wonky or at least it was when i played it the other day i know a patch just came out um but we'll see how it plays once i get in here um it's not optimized for controller use yet. Now, like games like this, I feel much more comfortable with a controller in my hand. And that just stems from years and years of console gaming uh, before I switched over to the PC Master Race. PC Master Race! But um, that being said, I'll do the best I can with the keyboard and mouse. I'm hoping that at some point they optimize this game for a controller because then it's on... And it's on like freaking Donkey Kong, because this game would be super fun if I had a better handle on the controls. But as I said, I will do the best I can. Not promising a win here. Never can in games like this. The cool part about it is, is if I do die, I can spectate the rest of the match and we can find out who wins. And maybe I'll do some voiceovers with some of the other characters, I, you know, some of the other people that are playing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go free-for-all. There is a co-op mode where you can team up with one other player. And it's eight teams of two instead of 16 random people. So I'm in the queue. I'm waiting. Um... Yeah, this they this is early access. It's on Steam for right now. It's ten percent off, so it's like thirteen forty nine or something like that. So it's for for thirteen forty nine. It is definitely worth that kind of money. I mean, it's 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 not that expensive. The replay value on this is going to be high. It's fun. You're gonna play. You're not gonna play the same kind of match twice. You know, uh, there's different loadouts. There's different all kinds of different stuff going on in this game. So. All right, here we are. We're in our little box. Start off in this little box on a random area on the map. And let's do this. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nothing. All right, so there, like I said, there's a currency in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this thing off. All this does, you shoot somebody with it. it it's good for tactical use because if you shoot somebody with it, then they will, th their radio will go off. All sorts of crazy stuff will happen. I don't need a bandage. I need some rocks. That. Somebody just got shot. Is there more rocks around here? Yes, there is. Uh, 
We're gonna stick. Makes a spear. Sweet. So now I got a melee weapon. I got a ranged weapon with my blowgun. And this is poison darts. So if I hit somebody with that, they like start puking. It slows them down. It's kind of a useful thing to have. Could also have made a bow and arrow, but I don't know. I prefer the blowgun. I've played a few matches of this. If you can't tell already, I, I kind of know my way around a little bit. Arm gun. Ooh, backpack. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh... that all right so yeah you start off with three inventory slots if you find a backpack you can it advances up to four take that All right. Give me some more funk. Your enemy just got sliced into fight slice. The contestant just killed another contestant with an arrow. It's Sweet. Yes, I did see that dude. Do you have any bones on the outside of your skin? But I'm not ready for a fight. I'm trying to stay away from the fighting for a minute. I want to get to a point where... What's up in here? Nothing. I have enough funk to open up one of the blue boxes and get a much better weapon than a blowgun or a spear or... I know I had a knife and a... Empty. Wait. Not empty. Bugged. Nice. So now I can go to one of the blue boxes. Now you saw me open one of the green ones, which is the free. And it only gave me a tier one thing. And if I get one of the blue boxes... It'll give me, hopefully, a tier 2 or even maybe a tier 3 style weapon, and that's what I'm looking for. Okay, we're at Culpepper's outlet, not there, so. And I saw a dude come running up in here. I took off. I don't know if he's still hanging around, but I know there's a blue box up in here, so let's go check it out. So I'm not going to want to stick to this main road here, so I'm just going to go over land. 
Eventually, the borders of the map do close, and you are herded to the center, or you die from poison gas. So, as a general rule, once I've been playing for about a good 10 minutes, I start kind of herding myself towards the center a little bit. Now, if I could get 115 funk, I can call in an airdrop. And that'll contain some really seriously good stuff. I mean, that the, like the best stuff you get in the, you can get in the game is got at airdrops. So I hear somebody. And yeah, so that's how this game goes. And as you can see, when it comes to the melee combat, I kind of suck. It is it is what it is. I got a charcoal solid boonie hat. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and spectate the rest of this match, and I'll just provide some commentary, because I got anything else better to do, and I've only been making this video for 10 minutes, so there's kind of no point in cutting it off now. And I did not do a very good job of showing you guys how to play this game. So we'll spectate somebody else. It's a fun game. I enjoy it. Yet again, if I had a controller, that that fight would have gone completely differently. And we can switch off. Let's see, how many people are left alive? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, le seven people left alive? That's pretty sad. Good will keep you healthy. Being aware I can health cycle through the players that are still... That's metal burning. L giggle. Ely giggle. See, he just got an airdrop. You call it in, it comes out, you gotta shoot it down. And he got himself a compound bow. A knife and something else. Dude's got a cigarette. Huh. Well, I suppose if you're, you know, on an island where you're probably going to die, smoking isn't the worst thing. Yeah, so he's making arrows. Basically, once you have a bow, you can make arrows by looking at a stick. And you can get sticks by hitting trees, and a stick will break off, and then you can get arrows. You can also make bandages by uh, taking one stick and crafting it with another stick. Um, and all sorts of different combinations. They have them all listed in-game for you, so you know what you can do. Um... You can make uh, smoke bombs. You can. You, there's just so much stuff you can do in this game. It is, like I said, I showed you, like, I just barely scratched the surface in the, you know, what, 12 minutes of gameplay I while I was alive. Mad Monk. This guy's got all kinds of buffs going on. Body armor. All right. I don't know what they all mean yet. I've only played a few matches. Meowshi. Cerberus. Dude's got a sword. Yeehaw, I'm a cowboy with a sword. Oh, I hear people fighting. Where's the action at? There it is. Oh, oh, dude's about to get murked. He's trying to run. Oh, we got a three-way battle going on here.
I like that other dude got away though. The other guy distracted him enough. Oh, no he didn't. Oh. He's... He got him. Got him! See, so he just used a bandage. Healed himself up. You can also use those... The machine I was using to recycle is a red one where you can use your funk to, to buy health. Whoa. That dude's got a gun. Nice. Oh, here we go. Oh shit. Oh, uh, you gonna die, cowboy. Yep, yep, there he goes. Bleeding out. He's bleeding out. It's only a matter of time. One hit and this dude's done. No, man, I'm gonna run. Oh! Oh, here we go. Center map. Another battle. Oh, it's the blue haired smoker guy. There we go. Ely Giggle. Uh, this is what I this is like a bill battle royale. Battle Royale. Alright, you're boring. Meowshi. Uh oh. Alright, so the center kill switch basically sets off all the poison gas traps across the entire map. Ah, we missed it. Was that Mr. Blue Hair again? Killing people? Oh, he's got pepper spray. Oh, sh Yeah, pepper spray versus a gun. I'll take the gun. That dude's got a meat cleaver. See, map closure has begun. Oh, okay, we're down to the last two. At least I'm not the only one that died with zero kills. Alright, so we got metal burning. And Meowshi. I think they're both near the center, aren't they? Where's this guy? Yeah, they're both in the center. He's right there, buddy. Pay attention. Final showdown has begun. He's got a man tracker. Basically just tracks who the nearest person to you is. That's right. Fight. Where is this man at? He's in the center of the map. Come and get me, man. Come and get me. He's coming, too. I'm 
I'm gonna kill you, boy. No, you're not, man. Yeah, see, so you got him with the. That's it. That gun. Yoshi wins. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the game. It's straight up death match. Set up like the Hunger Games. You know, let's. I'll show you the loadouts real quick before we go. Like I said, I'm not gonna make a series out of this, so I want to show you kind of as much as I can before the video is over, because I don't know if I'll make another one. We'll see. So, I got new hair and balding and the undercut thing. Okay, I don't really care. Head. What did I get? Bony hat. All right. Why would you wear an orange boonie hat? I'm just saying. Like, I mean, unless, I mean, unless you want to stick out, which kind of defies the whole point of the game. Dude, hey, let me put a, a big orange target on my head. Yeah, no. I don't mind the other boonie hat, though. So we might leave that one there. All right. And then, so that's your outfit. You can choose between male, female, skin color, your head type, which changes, like, your race, essentially. And then skin color just changes, like, the complexion of your skin. I don't know. It's weird. And then airdrop... This is basically you can select what you want to come in your airdrop, um, and you you'll unlock more, you unlock more of these the more you play the game and the better you get at the game. Um, and then your perks you get three perks, and you have different classes too. You can be ranged, trapper, melee, and change the perks within those. I prefer to be ranged, and I like the perks that I have. But there's many many different selections here. I'm not going to go through all of them. So, airdrop, perks, outfit. That's your loadout. So, yeah. Anyway, that was the culling. 1349 on Steam, early access. For now, it's going to go up to 15 whenever the sale ends. I don't know when the sale is going to end. Fun game. It'd be really fun to play with, like, a big group of friends on, you know, get everybody on, like, a TeamSpeak server and just get in here. I could play this game for hours if that was the case. You know, just sitting here BSing with my friends, killing each other. It would be hilarious. Um, maybe at some point that might happen, but we'll see. So, anyway, as always, take it easy, have fun, and, yeah, later. Bye.